Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Communicate. How are you all doing? So this video will be useful for not just the chemists but for the people in field of research in every discipline. So as a researcher, we often do a lot of referencing and in the references, we have the name of the journals. And the journal names we often have to report as their abbreviations. And do you ever suffer from the problems where you have to use the abbreviations of the journal names in the references and you do not know how to do that and you often do it manually? Then stop right there. You don't have to do it manually because in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the journal names as abbreviations using EndNote and make your life much more simpler. So let's just get started with it. So here is the reference list. So as you can see, the journal names in this reference list are not abbreviated. For example, let's focus on this journal, Dalton Transactions. So as you can see, the Dalton Transactions needs to be abbreviated here, right? So since the reference list can be really long and it can be really tedious if I will edit the journal name manually. So how can I do it using EndNote? That is what we'll learn in this video. To do so, let us first go to the EndNote library, which is linked with this reference list. So here I have the EndNote library, which is linked to this reference list. First, there are several steps that you have to follow to do so. Okay. So the first step is go to the option called edit and here go to the option called preferences in this option you have to make sure that only the first two boxes are ticked the third box is not ticked right as you can see here it is already in the right state so i will just press ok okay the next step is to go to the option called library and in this we will go to the option called open term list and here we'll go to journals term list as you can see here, there are several journals listed here. So in total, there are 21 journals listed here, but no abbreviation is written uh, in the heading called abbreviation. Now what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these and just delete all of them. Okay. So once I delete them, now I'll go to this option called list. And here I'm going to import a new list having as many journals as I can. So go to this option called import list. When you do so, you will see that a number of lists have opened. Now this already exists on your uh, computer wherever you have EndNote because it comes with the EndNote. It is having these lists already. So I'm going to now search for the most relevant list according to my topic of research or the topic on which the references are based on so as it is a paper related to chemistry i'm going to choose this reference list called chemical okay so i click on that and then go to open as you can see now it shows that 1356 terms have been inserted into the journals list and earlier as you see only 21 journals were there as soon as i do and go to the option called terms you see now hundred uh, more than thousand journals are in the journal list. Once it is done, go to the option called close. Then you will go to again to your word document and go to the option called EndNote here and update citations and bibliography. So let us see now if the journal names are abbreviated after this process or not. So as I can see that a lot of journals are now abbreviated. For example, here, the inorganic chemistry, this is abbreviated or whether this is Journal of Chemical Society, this got abbreviated, right? And for example, here, this one, advanced synthesis catalysis paper this got abbreviated but there are still a few journals which are not abbreviated let's ignore the journals like organometallics or polyhedron because they do not have any abbreviation so they will remain as such but my attention goes to the journals like dalton transaction they do have um, abbreviations but they are not abbreviated why is that the case this is probably because a few journals are not um, present in the journal list that we imported. Now, if I want the abbreviation of these journals, I'll have to add them manually. Now to do so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste Dalton transactions from here and go again to the EndNote library and go to the option called tools. Here I'm going to go, uh, sorry, uh, to the option called library and open the term list. 
In this, we'll go to journals term list and I'm going to add a new term here. I'm going to paste Dalton transaction here and will add its abbreviation myself. So the abbreviations which are uh, the standard abbreviations, you can easily find them on Google. Just Google the abbreviations and put them here and then press OK. Once you do that, just close this dialog box and go to the Word document again and update citations and bibliography. Okay, so once you do that, you will see let me you will see that this um, particular journal is now abbreviated for example i'm going to show you here you can see dalton trans it is abbreviated here you will see here that dalton trans is abbreviated here just like that the, the journals which are not abbreviated even after the first um, set of uh, steps that we did if your journals are still not abbreviated you can follow this process uh, you can add the journal names manually and then your journals will get abbreviated i hope this video was useful for you and if it does help you in any case then do mention in the comment section i'll come back with such more videos for you guys till then take care bye bye